This video is going to take you through how to erase an image from the Video Scribe canvas. As you can see here, I have set up a scribe project with a few images already on the canvas. To erase an object from the canvas, we're actually going to place a blank image over the top. The reason we do this is because the act of adding that blank image automatically gives you access to a number of settings that can dictate how the image is removed. I will demonstrate the most useful variations in this video for you. So, to add this blank image, you need to use the Add an Image button. From here, you can do a keyword search, and we call the images you need Scribble Out. However, they are tagged logically, so searching for Erase or Remove will find them too. These two blank images are the ones that you need, and I will use both over the course of this video so you can see the difference. Now, just click on the image you want to use, and it will be added to the canvas. Just to illustrate what's happening here a bit clearer, I'm going to quickly change the background canvas color so everything stands out a bit in the video. This is so you can actually see the white square that is the first scribble out image. You can then resize this to fit the image you want to cover and place it over the image that you want to erase. You can then do the same for the second image. Add an image, search for scribble out, this time, I will pick the second blank image option. And as you can see, this time, the image is an oval cloud shape. And I can again resize that and place it over the second hand. Images come in different shapes and sizes. So these two different scribble out options allow you to pick which fits your particular image the best. Now that the scribe is set up, I'm going to put the canvas back to its normal color. And you will see that those hand images look as if they were never there. When you preview this from your top right of the toolbar, you can see that VideoScribe draws the logo, then both hands are drawn, and then both are removed by scribbling those blank images over the top. So now for the variations. VideoScribe will draw the images in any order they appear on the timeline. So, if you wanted VideoScribe to draw the first hand, then erase it again straight away before drawing the second, you would simply have to click on the scribble out image covering the first hand and drag this along the timeline to be straight after the first hand. The order is now hand, erase, hand, erase, which I'll preview for you again now. As this plays back, you will notice that VideoScribe is erasing your images with a default hand, which is a black pen. You can amend the hand that is doing the erasing to make things more realistic. To do this, click on the scribble out image in the timeline and press the properties button. Any hands that you have already used will be in the recently used list, but we also have a folder for each of the 13 different hand profiles. Each of these have a hand holding an eraser. So if I pick Hannah for example, you can see the eraser here. Select it and then click on the tick to apply this hand to your selected image. The final variation I'm going to show you is erasing the image in a flash with no hand action at all. I'll do this on the second erase and I just need to select the scribble out image and from the timeline use the minus button to reduce the draw time to zero. Now, when this plays, the scribble out will just pop into view. So one final preview. You can see here that the first image will now be drawn and then erased by the eraser instead of a pen. The second hand is then drawn and just removed in an instant by your scribble out with a zero draw time. And that's how you erase an object from the canvas in VideoScribe.